Amen. So in all your ways, don't stop acknowledging him just because you're having a bad day or just because someone stepped on your foot and you spoke in tongues and you should be in the world. Keep trusting. Mama. I don't want to the wrong turn. There's a holy folk in here tonight. There's a sanctified self-righteous folk in here tonight. You done said something this week that you used to know in Exactly. I'm just talking to the people who deal in truth. Amen. You, 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 you have said something this week that, that, amen, that you can't say in the other night. Come on, say amen. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. But here it is. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. There shall be help to thy neighbor and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with, thy, with all thy substance. How do you honor God with your substance? Well, what he asks you to do to honor him by giving time. So every time he gives me substance, he asks me for 10%. So if I'm going to honor him with all my substance, that means he gets 10% of my money, 10% of my time, 10% of my Watch out now, watch out. And with the first fruit of all my increase, so every time I get a raise, he get the first check. Every time I get a new job, he get the first check. When I start a new business, I'm at the right church. Yes, yes. <laughs> he get the first check. So he get the first fruit of all my increase because when he get the first fruit of it, then all the rest of it is holy. For the first fruit be holy and the whole lump is holy. That's the Bible. So shall that burn be full of plenty and that pressure shall burst off with new wine. wine. Listen, I want to talk to you tonight about the secret place. Uh, the secret place. It's a tremendous risk to trust God. Yes, it is. It, it, it's easy to shout about it. It's easy to preach about it. It's easy to, to read about it and tell others about it. And oh, I trust the Lord, bless the Lord. But it's a tremendous risk in the days that we live in now to trust God. Because when you make a decision to trust God, Pastor, it puts a burden on your faith. Because you become responsible for how you handle when God and do it in your timing. It makes you accountable for your believing when it does not happen when you thought it should. Wow. And many people don't trust God because they don't want the responsibility of seeing him fail you. Okay. So what we'd rather do is shout and get a Bible story. We don't want to give it promises because then we begin to trust God and it don't happen when we thought it should. Now we become accountable for our feelings. Yes. Yes. Preaching power, you know, we see there's a big responsibility to start trusting God and don't see him work. Yes, yes. This goes beyond dancing yes. in the Holy Ghost. Yes. God help me in here right now. Yes. This goes beyond the many. Yes. But many people are afraid to put their trust and live a life of trust because trust makes you accountable. You know, God gave you some promises. If, I, if you're with me, say amen, Pastor. I, the Lord told me to tell you that right now your life has to be lived in the secret place. The things that you're dealing with right now, it got to be lived in the secret place. Jesus said, if you're going to pray, go pray in secret. If you're going to give, give in secret. Because the Father sees in secret and then he rewards you openly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The secret place, the secret place to beginning. It's a place of a life of total trust. All right. Oh. It's a life in the spirit. It's a life in the newness. Yeah. It's a life outside of your understanding. Yes, yes, yes. It's a life where real warfare happens. Okay. I'm not talking about the devil walking in your bed. That happens to everybody. I'm not talking about seeing no presence in your house. That happens to everybody. Oh, come on now. Real warfare is when the new man is fighting with the old man. And when the new man decides I'm going to trust God in spite of the old man saying you can't trust God because that's painful. <laughs> that's what the old man says because we've been so, so disappointed by man. Yes, yes, and all of our life we've learned that who's all we trust betrays us. Yes, yes. It's that you we started with our parents and our grandparents and our aunties and the people on the block and the friends that we had. Everybody put our trust in us. So the old man, the flesh, the understanding says, I can't trust nobody. All right, sir. Come on now. I can't even trust them niggas I can see. Now you come to church and I become this new man who want me to trust a God I can't even see. Right, right. You want me to trust a God just on something that's written. 
But I heard people make me promise all of my life and never keep them. Till God comes out. I done lost everybody in there right now. But if I'm going to live in the secret place, I'm not going to take long new beginning. I'm not even hooked tonight. If, I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm going to be in that secret place, I have to know how to work it quiet and how God sees me when I trust them. Because as a kingdom person, as a child of God, I live like they strictly on promises. I don't live on how you feel or what you think. I don't live on how I feel or what I think. I live my life based on the promises of God. That's the blessing of Abraham. Everything that's going to happen in my life is going to happen through a promise. I don't want to think it. I don't want to feel it. He just said it. And if I'm going to be somebody who lives in a secret place, I got to be able to trust him when he says it. But I also got to know how does he see me when I trust him. Go home right there. I said, who might not close us out? Mm -hmm. yeah. How does God deal with people who trust them? Don't do it now. Nahum chapter 1, verse 7 said, The Lord knows who trust them. First thing, you got to come to this conclusion and realization that you can't fool God. You can tell me you trust him all you want to, baby. You can fool me because I'm not that smart. But you can't fool God. God knows who trust him. And he's going to respond to those who know who trust him because he knows who's in your heart. Yeah. You know I really trust the Lord. And you take taking $10 of your time every time you get paid. Well, this place got quiet right there. Come on, I gotta got talk to people too. Y'all got quiet on me. Well, that sounds long, too. The Lord knows who trusts him. And when you walk in by, you see somebody acting like they're doing everything right. Doing all the church things. But inwardly, they have not um, submitted themselves, thank you, Holy Ghost, oh, unto trusting God. That's right. And they perform greatly in front of us. And they say all the right things at the meeting. But they have not submitted themselves to God. To trust in God. And they say, there's going to be Lord behind you. The Lord knoweth. Mm -hmm. He ain't thinking about it. We wonder. He's not wondering. He sees your secrets. He knows what you're thinking. He sees your action when we can't see you. Glory to God. You have to understand. The thing about an excellent spirit. Excellent people do it when nobody watch it. Right. Too many people in church doing it to get glory from you. Yes, you guys. Yes. 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 I thought I came to Too many people in our leaderships and our committees, yes. they do it to receive glory of man. Yes. And by Jesus, they have already received their reward. Come on now. But people who are excellent, of an excellent spirit, they do it when you're not watching. Yes. That's you need two or three people who will do it when you're not there. Yes. You need two or three people who will show up if you're not preaching. Yes. Oh, holy God. Pastor Red, I came to bring you a message from the Lord. God says, I need you in my secret, secret place. I'm a buckler to those who trust me. I'll protect them who trust me. But I hear the Holy Ghost saying, trust me. It's an intimate, personal relationship. Yeah, you can't determine how much I trust him. I can't determine how much you trust him. And I, but he knows who, mm -hmm, who trusts him. And the Bible says his word is tried. He's a buckler them who trust him. His word is right. He's strength to those who trust him. So if I want him to be to running my life in the midst of all these vicissitudes and all these storms and all these craziness and all these crazy people, I have to know, and he has to know from me that I trust him. <laughs> See, when I trust in him, I don't get too concerned about how you feel about it. Matter of fact, the Bible tells me if I trust him, I'll never be desolate. If I put my confidence in God, if I trust in him, if I believe his word, if I stand in what he told me in spite of what it looks like and what you think and how I feel, my God, if I put him first, if I walk in the newness of the spirit, I'll never be desolate. Now, I'm Pastor Red, if we're not going to believe the word, and I tell us to generally love people all the time, why well, come to church? Yes. 